Divine Truth Assistance Group. Group assistance sessions putting principles of divine truth into action. Understanding Sin and Its Causes is the fourth assistance group in the Education and Love series. In this presentation, titled Welcome and Housekeeping, Mary welcomes participants to the Understanding Sin and Its Causes assistance group, introduces the program, and provides some general principles for participants to follow while attending the group. Recorded on the 22nd of February 2019 from 6 p.m. in Nooseville, Queensland, Australia. Lots of old faces. Yeah. It's been nearly three years since we've seen you, huh? For most of us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Three more years goes past like that, doesn't it? Yeah. Before you know it, it's uh, getting old and decrepit. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's good to see all of you here. This group was going to be 120 people, believe it or not, at one point, but we had nearly 60 people pulled out. Yeah. <laughs> and so you, the brave ones, yes. left. <laughs> I know there's a few nerves, but yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good on you for wanting to learn about sin. How did you go with your getting your outlines? Was that a bit like, whoa? <laughs> bit There's no the wiggle room, is there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, obviously, for a lot of us, those things were going on whether we knew about them or not. And my, my general feelings are it's better to know about something than not. And, and then you know what decisions and choices you're making. So it's going to be an interesting group. Mary and I are a bit tired because we've spent a lot of time haven't we prepping the group but also there's been a lot of other things going on as well so we're a little tired we we finished our very last prep for this group this afternoon <laughs> <laughs> so if there are some mistakes in the slides it's because i rushed them this afternoon no i yeah. think we were very thorough that's why it took us till this afternoon yeah, yeah. so that has been pretty busy for us 
But hopefully we can have a relaxed time with you over the next week talking about sin, as if it's ever going to be a relaxed time. Yeah. But uh, we just wanted to welcome all of you. Now, most of you are from Australia, yes? There's only a few overseas visitors in this group. There's, most of the overseas visitors came in the next group. So yeah. who yeah. are our overseas visitors? There's a number, yeah. Yeah, so there you go. Just a few. And please try it if you're... If you're an oldie and a regular, just make those newies feel yeah. a bit welcome. Yeah. And, <laughs> and who, who, who is, this is the first time for who? Okay, so there's a few of you, first time, yeah. welcome. Welcome, guys. Yeah, welcome. And uh, we won't, we won't uh, there's nothing unusual that goes on at any of our seminars. <laughs> well, you've probably seen a uh, bunch of videos. Yeah. There's, that's, there's nothing more thrilling than those videos. <laughs> it doesn't get more exciting than that. Yeah. 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 And uh, how, how many of you are staying here, uh, here at the venue? Quite, quite, quite a lot of you. Okay. So uh, hopefully you enjoy the venue. You've got a few days off in between. So it's a nice enough venue to relax on those days off and have a bit of a swim, assuming there's no cyclone. It was supposed to be in a cyclone now, but yeah. I think it's a non-starter. Uh, yeah, I think, it's, I think it's gone north. Yeah. <laughs> hooray for that. Who's in the tent? Yeah. Hooray, yeah. Hooray. <laughs> Hooray for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, it would have been a bit tricky, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll, I'll leave you in Mary's capable home. So, Hans, I just wanted to be up here with you and just with Mary for a bit and welcome you. And uh, it's good to see your faces and hopefully you enjoy our discussion. Obviously, the first session is the welcome and housekeeping. And so we just need to go through some of those things with you. There's a few little changes we've made yes. to the way things work, particularly with questions that we'd like to talk to you about first, just to speed up proceedings a bit and be able to answer more people's questions than we have in the past. So um, if you have a listen to Mary for the next 40 minutes, and then it'll be me that you'll have to put up with for 40 minutes after that. <laughs> so catch it. <laughs> Thanks, Dylan. Okay. As Jesus said, I have the slightly mundane task of the housekeeping and obviously extending our welcome to you, which we do feel very heartfelt welcome to all of you, those of you who are new. It's really a pleasure to meet you. I know a lot of you see us all of the time, but we don't get to see you as often as we used to. So it's lovely also to see those people that we have known for a long time, but actually haven't seen for a few years by now. So let's get into the housekeeping. Our welcome, and I think... Jesus and I have covered that now. We're, we really welcome your desire to learn about sin. As Jesus said, it's not necessarily everyone's most, <laughs> most desired way to spend a week, but we think it's really time well spent. And a lot of what we'll talk about this week really sets you up to have a whole new awareness in your life. I think there's a great benefit in that, yeah. And it's so, for that reason, it's our pleasure to talk to you about these subjects. Now, we have a whole new production team this time. So these guys have, well, obviously Jesus and I are here, we're, we're regular. <laughs> but uh, on our production team now, we have a new video switcher, Eloisa, who's also the head of the production team. Tristan on audio and cut notes. You guys can give away if you want. <laughs> so everyone knows who you are. <laughs> Jada on camera and various other things. Sorsha as well, Sorsha on camera and various other stuff. <laughs> and Catherine is our housekeeper this week. So if you have any house, how in housey things that you, you find, Cass is the person to speak. We call her Cass for short. She's the person to speak to. And she's also the person who'll be in charge of lost property and those kinds of things. So, yeah, she's a good one to know. Oh, and, uh, hang on, hang on. How can I forget the guy right in front of me? <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> the vibe is Hyde, <laughs> even though he's wearing fluoro. <laughs> so Cornelius, our old friend Corny, is on main cam. Welcome, guys. They've worked really hard to get to this point. Everything's been brand new. So Jesus has been training them for, for a number of weeks 
and we've all spent uh, three full days in this room before you've all arrived, setting up, getting all the technicals done and testing the sound and testing the various video and settings and so on. So yes, thanks guys for the work they've already done. <laughs>I also need to mention Kate and Jesus and I, we work on the production, pre-production, obviously, all of the outlines you have Jesus and I created, but also the PowerPoints. Kate helped transition our outlines into PowerPoint presentations and she's worked on a lot of computer programming in the lead up to this to automate a lot of the processes that we need to, to run during the group and after the group in the editing. So. Welcome, Kate. She's a participant in this group as well, but we appreciate her also. All right. Now, this year we're doing something a little bit different with donations and that I know many of you have already donated towards the group. Thank you very much for that. We also have a donation box at the back of the room if you would like to make a contribution towards the expenses for running the group. Jesus and I also pay all of the accommodation for the whole team uh, to stay here at the resort for the week, as I just mentioned, for the week before we start and then for a few days after we finish, which is in about a month's time. Because we run this one, as you know, and then we have a week's break or a kind of a break. <laughs> There's many production things that happen in that week. And then we go again with a whole bunch of other participants. And then we have a few days after that. So we pay for everyone to stay here and we also rent this room for that whole time. So all of your donations go towards those kinds of expenses, as well as all of the technical equipment that we run and batteries that we go through and basically every expense incurred in the group. So this year we're just having all of the donations into one area and Jesus and I will distribute to the team part of, our, part of whatever's in there also. Yeah. Simplifies it for everyone. As you probably know, everyone here is giving their time for free. We're all volunteers. And I do want to acknowledge Jesus for the immense amount of time and effort that has gone into creating this group. I think that just your outlines alone are fairly like... <laughs> world standard to me I mean he takes a he's very diligent and very concerned with the quality of what you receive and as you can tell it's formatted beautifully not only is the content wow but the formatting and the diagrams and all of those things he makes sure that that's done to a very high standard this group <laughs> he's also trained everyone here so he's, he's actually done an immense amount of work, particularly this group. And as he mentioned, we were working up until three o'clock this afternoon just on finessing our PowerPoints and so on. So I do want to acknowledge his effort there. Okay. So now I'll just give a little overview of the structure of the program. Many of you who've been here before will be familiar with the way that we run these things. But basically, the whole group is 26 hours. We've actually shortened it slightly this year. And that's because the content is fairly confronting. And we wanted to give you time to absorb it rather than just get completely overwhelmed by the end of day three, for example. <laughs> um, it's, there's six days where we'll be meeting together, but eight, the, you've got the two rest days also to try and absorb and reflect on what we've, what we've talked about. We've got different start times this year, just slightly. So we're starting a half an hour earlier, I think. We start at 10.30 on tomorrow on the first day of the session and then at 11 o'clock on the second day of the session. So basically there's three sessions and each one has a particular theme. Sorry, Jesus, did I say just something? 
Remember that uh, we're starting at 10 a.m., I think. That's, I was just thinking the same thing yeah. when I said earlier. Our this is that PowerPoint thing we were talking yeah, about. Yeah, our slide is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're just going to move on to the next screen so nobody remembers that visually. <laughs> um, 10 a.m. tomorrow and 10.30 the next day, which is half an hour earlier than what we did. Now, your programs reflect that, the, you know, your coloured ones with all the different titles. Can I just borrow that for a second? So this reflects your correct start time. That's what we want. <laughs> now, the presentations this year are a little different. Well, they're the same, but there's some different rules for you guys as participants. The first type of presentation you will have seen in your program is an information presentation and that's where we'll give you a lot of truthful information about sin. Now during those sessions we're not going to welcome any just spontaneous questions this time. That's because as you probably could appreciate going through your outlines there is just so much to cover and something that Jesus and I have really focused on in these assistance groups now is maximising the benefit of the time that everyone spends here together and the outputted video also. So what we're going to do is have Q&A sessions, presentations, but we'll have a new procedure for question asking within those Q&A sessions as well, which I'll explain to you in a little while. In previous years, I used to come up and do a summary of the session. After, so each You've got the two days of each session with a particular theme. I would come up, give a, give a summary, and we'd talk about homework. This time we're not going to do that because we just felt maybe everyone got a bit worn out. <laughs> There's a lot of content, then we revised the content, then you had homework, then we revised the homework at the start of the next session. And what we feel this time is that you all can be responsible for your own learning and reflection. We've given the demonstration in the previous groups that you will have watched of what kinds of things you could do for your own homework as well to try and reflect upon how does this apply to me personally. So we won't be doing that this time, but if you want to follow that kind of format in your personal time, set yourself some reflection exercises, you can do that. In terms of breaks, we'll have a break usually every an hour, one hour and 20 minutes. Uh, it's slightly longer than we did last time, but again, we're trying to maximise the time because we waste a lot of time each time we have a break. And if people are late, which is a great thing to remind you of, please be on time when you're coming back for your breaks. In previous years, we played music to signal you back in. This year, we're not going to have music. We've got a bell. So, Cass, have you got your bell there? <laughs> I know it's, it's not as raucous as I used to have. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> you'll hear that <laughs> and you'll know it's time. Yeah. <laughs> but Cass won't have a stern look on her face or anything, so it'll be all right. <laughs> all right. We're just allowing 10 minutes for your toilet breaks. Toilets are located in the cafe. Well, they're just literally just here, but you access them by going through the cafe area that you would have noticed as you came in. Now, it's very important with the toilet usage this year, there's a different person who's leasing the cafe. They're not there all of the time. The cafe hours are somewhat reduced. So we'll be here at times when the cafe isn't open. And the people who are responsible for the cafe don't want everyone and their dog coming in and using the toilets. They've given us special permission to use them this time. So you'll see on the days when the cafe isn't open, there'll be some barricades up and we'll just open one of them, which will give you a doorway to walk through. And we'll close it again at the end of the toilet break. So if you happen to need to get up during a presentation and go and use the toilet, just make sure when you move it aside that you put it back again 
And that's just out of respect for their wishes and um, making sure just other resort guests and so on don't come in and use the toilets. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Also, with toilet breaks, if you wouldn't mind giving the courtesy to the production team, if they are in line with you, just to let them go to the front of the line because there's a number of things that they're doing in the room during the breaks as well. So it just helps if they don't have to wait in line very long. We'll have a break in the middle of our presentations for 30 minutes for lunch. Now, as in other years, we offer the service of copying all of the previously recorded Divine Truth videos and other data onto your own personal hard disk drive. So if you would like for that to happen, you will see on one of the, the table where your name tags go, there's a sign that says hard disk drive copying. You need to leave your hard disk drive there with your name and the type of computer that you use on the top because that affects, the type of computer you use affects the format of the files that Jesus puts onto the hard disk drive so that it will play on your computer. Now, there's another document on our website under hard disk drive copying that you can download which explains how you access the files once they're on your hard disk drive. Some people find it a bit confusing, but it's very, very simply and clearly laid out once you read the document. Okay? There's a specific file folder and, and uh, yes, folders <laughs> um, that, you, that you need to just know how to get in and then you you see all the lists of the, the videos and so on. Now, once they're copied, they'll go on the opposite table and you'll see there's a sign there that says copied hard disk drives. So it's pretty simple. Just make sure you put it, your hard disk drive in the right place because if it goes in the place where all the copied ones are, no one will pick it up to do. Make sense? Okay. Okie doke. These logistics here is how you can help us to make this week really beneficial, not just to you but to everyone else who's present. So if you could please be on time and in fact if it was me I'd be here five or ten minutes early so you can get settled in your seat and you know get prepped ready to listen. <laughs> that will make everything flow much more easily. We won't wait for you to start because we're very conscious of the time. We're very conscious of what we need to get through in the allotted time. So if you're late, we'll ask you to please come in and take your seat very quietly. But it would be an issue of a lack of love for everyone else present and ourselves really because it is interruptive. Now in terms of the technical equipment, if you pause before you leave tonight and just take a little look around the room, you will see that there is a lot of technical equipment set up. There's all of these leads that run across the ceiling. We have laid all of them. <laughs> there's one, two, three, four, five, six video cameras running. And there's some very expensive switching and audio equipment over there in the corner. So if you can please be conscious of that and not walking into it and, and so on, you just need to be mindful of yourself, be in your body and you should be fine. And also be mindful of not walking, say you are one of those late people who arrives, not walking right in front of where Cornelius is sitting to get to your seat because that will block both cameras of the presenter. So that means on the final video, we've got nothing to show except the back of your head <laughs> when Jesus is expounding life-changing truth about sin. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> And that'll be forever. <laughs> You're <laughs> back. <laughs> so just watch that. <laughs> All right. Also, because there's live switching going on and Eloisa Champion is doing it for the first time in a live environment right now this week, so please be, don't just go up and go, so how are you? <laughs> like in the middle of, in the middle of the presentation or even in the breaks or just coming back from the break because she does need to focus, you know. Yeah. And if you can make sure that you're quiet, 
during the time when we are up here presenting. I know sometimes it's really tempting to go, that is me, <laughs> I can't believe that. You know, or talk to your neighbour. <laughs> but the problem with that is it's quite distracting for the people around you, especially if you've got any volume at all. But even sometimes whispers, are, they, they really travel a lot, you know. <laughs> and so you end up putting off five or six people around you because they start listening to your conversation. And also, obviously, if you are loud, it affects our recording of our equipment. So just be careful of that. And I've mentioned not walking in front of the cameras, yeah. Okay. You will all have a name tag on by now. So please wear that during the talks because that helps us to, well, just remember you <laughs> and your name. And it helps the other participants also breaks the ice a little bit, people can get to know each other. And when you leave in the evenings, if you could just put it back on the table where you got it from, that way it also helps us to know, is everyone here? Because if everyone's here and it's five minutes ahead of time and everyone's just sitting quietly, we may as well get going. You know, we may as well start because it helps. That's five more minutes we can talk about things. Yeah. So if you can do that, and it also helps us to know if someone's really missing in action, you know, because they haven't shown up. We've purchased a lot of spring water for you to drink during the, the week that you're here. We really advocate people drink a lot of water. That's because it helps you to stay connected to yourself. It helps you stay connected to your emotions. And it's just good for you. <laughs> We do ask, though, that you don't take heaps of water back to your room to drink overnight. That's your responsibility, that water. But while you're here, during the day, please, please drink up. There's a dispenser just there at the back of the room next to the name tags. It dispenses cold water or just room temperature water. And we have plenty, so we can restock as you use it. There's a couple of rubbish bins at the back of the room on either side of the two tables at the back of the room. Please put your rubbish in there. It's just something, if you leave rubbish lying around, someone else has to come and pick it up. And it's an act of love to take care of the environment that you're using. This is where we remind you that we're talking for a long time each day. And while we're very excited to see a lot of you, and we know that some of you are quite excited to see us, although, We'll see how that goes as the week progresses. <laughs> just joking, just joking. <laughs> we probably don't have much time, especially at the end of the day, for personal chats. Yeah, there's a lot of backing up. For all of this data that we capture needs to be copied a number of times overnight before we come back in the morning. And so there's a lot of procedures that we have to oversee after you leave the room. So if you can just be mindful of that. We've got lots of Q&A sessions this time for you to ask questions relating to why we're here, because in the end, that's why we're all here, isn't it? And I really encourage you to use those sessions. I know certain people are like, yeah, but I just want to ask my question when not there's not a camera on me or it's a bit personal, but I've heard from so many people. And in fact, I receive emails into our office account from people saying, thank you to all of those people who've gotten on camera and just asked that really awkward question because it helped me so much. So we encourage you to use those sessions and use them well. Now, if you have children, Basically, you're responsible for them while you're here. You need to make your own babysitting arrangements. If your kids are noisy in the room, you need to leave with them immediately for the aforementioned reasons about being interruptive to the recording. And just be aware that you're in a resort, there's a lot of pools and, you know, different things. So just be conscious of the safety of your kids. And also abide by the rules of the resort and have your kids do the same. Yeah. So while you're here, each of you as a participant, even if you're not staying at the resort, the resort owner has offered you the use of the facilities. So if you want to swim in the pool, 
use a barbecue, hang out during the time of the course, you're welcome to do that. Obviously, please respect that gift. <laughs> Even if you are a, a pay, paying guest here, you know, it's a sign of love that you, that you honour the space that you're in and look after it. Please be courteous with the staff. We take loving behaviour really seriously. It's why we come together to talk to you. And so we do assume that when you're in this room, you're in this room because you want to learn about love. And so if we find that a participant is really unloving, either in the room or out of the room during the course, we're going to address that with you because we assume you want to improve in that area. I'm not a fan of when people have one set of behaviours, say with Jesus or I, but a different set with other people because that shows that your, your will and your desire is not really to be loving with everyone. You've got a preferential system within you. And so we're pretty hot on pointing that out when it happens. I've mentioned keeping your room clean and tidy. If you're staying just for this period, your room won't be serviced, but you can arrange that with the resort if you wish. This is the crucial bit that's quite different from last year or last a long time ago, 2016. It's really important that you've read the outline for the talk that you're at before you get there. It's really important because sometimes we might go off, sometimes we're going to follow that outline and really help you to try and understand what you've read, but sometimes we might build upon that outline. And if you haven't already read it, you're going to be swimming. You won't understand what we're on about, okay? Yeah. And it's a sign of respect for the effort that's gone into those outlines, you know. You're sitting in a seat where someone else could have been sitting, if you think about it, and if you haven't actually done the prep work, you're not making the most of that opportunity that you've taken. Yeah. So if you haven't already read them, you've got some reading ahead of you, <laughs> and please do it in the morning before you come. Yeah. This is the part that I want to speak to you about in depth. All right. So basically, those of you who were here in 2016, you might remember we had clipboards where you could write your question and then Jesus selected questions that he would answer in the Q&As. This year we've refined it a little bit because in 2016 everyone was queuing up to try and get to the, to the clipboards and it was, it was really difficult for everyone to manage. So what I've designed is a card that you can take away with you. You can take a stack of them now tonight and already if you already have questions, you can start to fill them in or as you go on, you can fill them in. Basically, it's got a space for the title of the presentation your question refers to. That's really important because unless we know that, we won't know which session to answer it in. Then we want your name and your question. We've given you lots of space. Um, but try not to make it a huge, big, you know, no novella. <laughs> <laughs> and if you do feel the need to give details, my policy is always like, how can I say this question in a really brief way? Say it first up and then, okay, now I, I want to give all the details and then write that out underneath. Do you know what I mean? So it's easy for the presenter to read it and go, okay, what's this really all about? Yep. Okay. So you've got a whole bunch of them. Now, when you fill them in, what you're going to find is that there's four boxes at the back of the room. They're pink or blue, but they look like this. Now, they're sitting on the table and in front of each one is the name of the talks that we're giving in the session. So, for example, the first talk tomorrow, the first session is Understanding Sin. And I'll give an introduction to that session tomorrow. And then at the end of the session, we have a Q&A about that. And then the next talk we give is the creation of sin. <laughs> and you're going to find a box at the back that's got creation of sin in front of it. So any card you've filled in that is about the creation of sin goes into that box. Again, if you put it in the wrong box, 
we won't get it because I'm just going to come and grab the box at the end of that talk and we're going to flick through them all and choose the ones we're going to use. Does that make sense? Now, what we've done, as I just mentioned, at the end of every session, there is a Q&A that is just about the whole session. So you can use that time for any question that you feel, look, this just applies to everything, or a question that's come up, maybe it's come up during a Q&A of one of the talks, and you go, what on earth is that about? You can put it in the general Q&A box for the session, and that's when we'll answer more of those questions. So anything that's outstanding for you, or you don't know where to put it, you can put it in that box. Now, it's the blue box. It'll, it's always going to be the blue box. The session questions is going to be the blue box. And the pink ones are for the specific, we've got specific talk, specific Q&A, specific talk, specific Q&A. Okay, so the specifics are in pink. The session is in blue. But it's got the names all in front of it. So see how the system goes. <laughs> I think it'll be fun, but anyway. <laughs> I love boxes and forms, that's me. <laughs> um, I'm a frustrated public servant or something. But anyway, <laughs> the second part of the question and answer situation is this. We now have a hot seat, which is just here. If Alex, you stand up maybe, it's right in front of Alex. So this, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> just here, so pretty much dead opposite the presenter. And so what's going to happen is Jesus will say, okay, for example, Dave, we're going to answer your question. Dave gets up from his seat, he comes down, he sits in the hot seat and he picks up the microphone, which it's all right, <laughs> which will be handed to him just there. So he doesn't need to collect it, he just comes to the seat. Catherine will be sitting in the seat next to it, hand you the microphone, okay? Jesus will read your question. You will position the microphone in the way I'll show you in a minute. And then you'll have the opportunity to hear his answer and have a discussion. Oh, that will me. I'm there. Oh, we might, either one of us, have a discussion with you about the question. Does that make sense? So there's no just, oh, 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 in, from the audience anymore. So... We're going to trial that and see how it goes. We've often had a lot of spontaneous questions. And while part of me loves that, there's another argument to say you can't, you don't know if it's actually going to be a quality on topic question. So this time we're trying to keep everything on topic and really make good use of the time we've got here. Okay, so is that clear? Yep. Microphone use, very important because of the recordings, okay? So the microphone is to be held just about here, away from your chin. So it's not here, it's not here, it's not here. You know, it's, it's just so that we can pick up and you can hear through the speakers your own voice. And if you find it's very faint, you need to speak up or just put it slightly closer. But as soon as you get right in here, it gets all muffly. So there's, Tristan is there to adjust the sound, but if, if you move it in and out and side and side, he's got no hope. Or if you have it here, he adjusts it and then you go here, it's also very hard. Everyone will be like awake, but it's not very good for the audio. Do you know? Yeah. So if you can watch that, a lot of you have been around here a few times <laughs> and we'll be pretty strict on you because you've had this training. Oh, if we had to count them, it's in a lot of times, isn't it? Okay. So Jesus has got a pretty no-nonsense attitude this, this year. He's especially on the questions. He doesn't want to waste time. So we're going to be hot. If you, if you mess around with the mic, we might just say, hey, look, put it down. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> okay? You're warned. <laughs> okay. We've covered that. Just a quick note on your questions. Please try and be on topic. Ask questions about principles that are going to help you not just in one situation in your life, but in a lot of situations. If it's really addictive and selfish, we're just going to point that out. We're not going to answer the question, okay? As I mentioned, 
Focus questions on principles and understanding the concepts because when you do that, you can apply it to everything. So with the attendance, I've already mentioned, you know, it's a sign of love to be here on time and to be here consistently. If you just don't, if you come to one or two and then you stay and go into the pool for the rest of the time, it's a sign that you weren't very sincere about coming and learning. So please be here at each group, at each talk rather. And if we find that it's really obvious that you don't have a sincere intention, we will ask you to leave. It is a free event and we are all giving our time for free and we want this to be a good experience for everyone who's here. I've already mentioned we're going to be pretty direct with you about issues of love. And that includes issues of love towards anyone else in the room, towards our team, towards the staff, towards ourselves. That includes condescension and arrogance and rudeness and all of those unloving behaviours. I've mentioned if you miss the presentation, please let us know. It needs to be something special that's caused you to not be able to be here. We're going to be very open and truthful with you as you would expect probably. If we find that you're doing something publicly that's very out of harmony with love, we're going to publicly address that. And that's because other people, when you do things publicly, other people hear and know what you're doing. And we feel it's very important for even those other people to learn the lesson, the principles involved. Finally, we're getting towards what you can do to help yourself get the most out of this week. And that is to be present at all times. Jesus has already mentioned it could be a bit challenging, but it's definitely going to benefit your future to, to retain this information. So we've provided the water that I mentioned. You can breathe deeply into your stomach. It's very important to help you stay connected. And then if you find you're very resistive, it's always helpful to just say, well, what don't I want to hear? What don't I want to know? What don't I want to accept? And usually as soon as you can identify that, things start to free up for you. So when we fight that process, we struggle, you fall asleep, all of these things. Please relax and enjoy being here <laughs> after all of those rules and regs and also with knowledge of the, the topic. We have a lot of passion for what we're going to talk about and hopefully that will help you enjoy what we cover but you can involve yourself emotionally and also through your questions, you know, and taking opportunities there. You can take opportunities with each other as well to get to know each other and reflect on the material. Don't be concerned, as I mentioned, about how others perceive you because you waste a lot of time, you know. <laughs> you waste your own opportunities. If you have the goal to participate fully, you will benefit. You really will. And that includes giving yourself time after you leave here each day to really sort of just have some time to sit and reflect about it, to think about what did challenge you during the day. It's usually the things that challenge us the most where we have the most growth to occur, you know. And it, make it personal. <laughs> I think you'll find that that happens. Yeah. If you check your outlines, write your questions, take your question cards with you tonight, and remember that this whole series is all about you getting that education in love. And if you remember, back in 2014, I gave a talk at the assistance group there. And it was all about how sad it was that we hadn't actually received this education when we were kids. This is you continuing that education by being here. So it's wonderful to see that you want that education. Please embrace it while you're here. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. Good to see you. Jesus is going to come and talk to you. We're getting right down to business tonight, first, first night. Talk about the problem of sin.